Hey folks, how you doing today? My brother and I are gonna take a ride up to Ki. He's uh, gonna try and uh, look at some ponds and stuff. He's gonna start doing some beaver trapping. So we're gonna go up and do that. And uh, while we're doing that, bringing my rifle and he's bringing a rifle too, in case we see some coyotes up there. We might do some calling in a couple of places and see what happens. So we'll give you some uh, footage once we get up there further. We're just getting some gas and some grub right now. We'll see you in a little bit. so far yeah they're out yeah we'll see moving on one thing when you're driving down here you become a really good freaking road rider because they don't plow the roads they don't sand the roads <laughs> they're just packed powder coated ice roads so you've got to learn to be a very good driver Right, brother? <laughs> yeah. We'll find out. Yeah, we're going to find out. Yeah. <laughs> you always try to get to the sides where there's some snow. For any kind of traction, especially coming up down, you just got to make sure you're not going too fast so you just slide right off. But that's part of mountain hunting, I guess. See what happens. Yeah, I get you. <laughs> 50 plus takes a while to bring it up from the hard drive. Is it a punch stand too? Is that what you're using for an app? Yep. I 
gonna get Jameson's loaded so he can just start using it across the road and stuff. You know, oh yeah. Learning how to Learning find his way out. Yep. We need to do some more of those beaver traps right now. Yeah. 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 The fun part begins. <laughs> We don't have a tool for that conibear set, so we gotta compress those springs. He has to compress them by hand, and then I have to squeeze the last bit and then put that hook on there to stop the springs from. Yeah. Yeah. And you got how many of those left? We got to do. Just nine. Just nine more. <laughs> we only did one. <laughs> There's two springs per trap. Yeah. yeah let's get to it. <laughs> yeah, the Army National Guard. You're yeah. not gonna put that many out though, right? Just one or two out. Not per... here. Oh, here. Right. Oh. Probably put five, six out here. Oh, really? Yeah, Ooh. there's three separate ponds. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Cool. I'll be here. I'll be in there a minute. Yeah. Cool. I'll be dumping yours out here. <laughs> God willing. This is my view. I'll be sitting in the truck while he does his uh, beaver. But I help him set some traps first. Yeah, we are trying to compress these corner bear. Do that. We have to squeeze those together. Here's. You can see how we got to bring these two loops together and then I got to try and put this hook on to set it, to hold it. So he squeezes it and then I try and squeeze it the rest of the way with my hand to hook that hook on. So it's uh, it's not a fun thing. <laughs> and yes, trappers, we know there's a tool for this. Yeah, but don't have it sadly around here, it's hard to find them. I thought I had one upstairs in the garage. I couldn't find it. Yeah. And, you know, some places will sell traps, but a lot of places don't have the tool. Yeah. So we're gonna try and been doing it by hand, which is a job. I'm, anybody got any suggestions? We'd certainly take a suggestion if you want to put it in the comments. If there's another way or a simpler way that we just don't know, we appreciate it. See what happens. We got what three done or four done now? We might have four done, I think. Three. We're working on the fourth one now because yeah. each trap has two springs yeah. we got to fix. So, and I can't film it because uh, I don't have a, a tripod with me. So, and he needs both of his hands and I need both of mine to get this done, <laughs> so, but yeah. Here's the ones that are done so far, put in the jet sled. So, main beaver trapping through the ice. Oh yeah, we'll get her done. Yep. All right, we finally got those conibears all taken care of. Holy mackerel, is that a pain. Definitely need that tool. Hope we can find one somewhere. If not, make up something. Brother's chopping up some um, popple for the de uh, beaver for a uh, little snack. Let's show you what we got here for the traps. There the corner bears are. And the popple. Yeah. Beaver like to gnaw on the popple. Get some straps here. We brought these popple from the house. Keith had some pop, we all kind of pop right in the yard. Put all the straps in here for the, the jet for the tone up there. We're just gonna try and put some of uh, these traps up here. Some hidden pawns out there. Let's see how that goes. Don't forget to put that hatchet back in there. <laughs> Sit, I'm gonna sit in the truck and watch down this way in case a Yoda something shows up. All right, I'm back in the truck, sitting, watching my range. My brother's just heading out there now, going across. I guess there's a few uh, beaver ponds out there. He's gonna go set up some traps. He brought, we set up six traps. He's gonna so set those up for at least a week or so. I mean, you have to check them every five days, but he'll be back here on uh, Saturday. Today is Thursday, and then they'll check him again. He says he's not going to leave him out here too long because you don't know when the snow is going to come and stuff, and that gets some snow out here pretty quick, and we won't be able to get out here. So you may have him here a week or two, but other than that. Uh, I, I've hunted here for deer a few times. Deer have crossed the road right up here, but uh, there are always varmint tracks in here too, coyote and uh, some fox tracks and stuff, and it's both of those seasons right now. And down this road is where I went when I did that mountain hunt for deer hunting where I 
come across two bull moose out there. And there's all kinds of moose tracks all through here, so there's all kinds of those out here, but you can only hunt varmints right now, so this is what I'm gonna do. I don't have my camo and all that stuff on. I figured it would just be sitting in the truck, mostly spending some time with my brother as he wanted to do that, set up his uh, beaver traps, and we may do some calling somewhere, but um, so I'm just passing some time, and he's gonna be a while setting up uh, six traps out there, chopping through the ice and all that, so I'll sit out here and see what I can see. I'll show you what I got. Here's the rifle. It's a Weatherby Vanguard Hush model. My burr scope on there. Very good scope. Get my bipod on the end. I'm watching down this way. In case something comes down around that way. Or it could come out over here. My brother went off into this way, into there. So I'm gonna watch that way and see what comes, if anything does. Besides moose, can't shoot moose or deer anymore, or bear, but coyote and fox. I'm using these uh, 6.5 Creedmoor, 95 grainers, going 3,300 feet per second. That'll do the job, probably more job than I want to, to hurt the pelt, but best thing to do is aim for the head of the neck, my brother said. So that's what I'll do. See how it goes. It's a little breezy out there, and the temperature's only in the 20s. Today's supposed to be a pretty cold day. Keep on watching. Seen, seen much yet. I saw a mouse. <laughs> That's about it so far. A cold, windy day out in the mountains here. You can see a helicopter too, military helicopter. It's like a low man bush. Every tree's gone, mowed down. Oh, really? Like There's trees this big around, chewed in half. <laughs> they just got trees down everywhere also. The water's still running off of some of the dams, so it's open water. Mm. And they're swimming up to them still, and they're cutting them all down. It's, mm. it's like they cut they're it. hard at it. <laughs> like they cut about a quart of wood down. <laughs> nice little view right there. They didn't get to set any yet. Is there any more around you're going to set, or is that your only spot you're going to try? I don't know. I think I'm going to run up to the front dog bank and chop them up. Oh, yeah. Set track. Mm -hmm. Move so close together as a deer. Can't get up the road? No, I'm not going to net. There you go. Mm -hmm. Wish it wasn't that old. Yeah, oh, it's, yeah it's snowed in, is it? Bunch of moose tractor in front of us. Oh, yeah. 
Probably we're going with that. Drowned with it. Huh? <laughs> I said before I fall through and drowned with it. <laughs> Who's that? Good money. Oh, thank you. Yay. Good see you. Oh, look at it. It's coming. Vidja this moose track. Alrighty. This is why we want a zone 14. There's my boot right beside it. <laughs> Giant. Thousand pounds. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. Longer than my boot. <laughs> my little pond out there. So wasn't able to send any sets yet. Because it just wasn't feasible. Couldn't get in where he wanted to. A moose going across that bridge. I don't know about that one. You ain't taking no truck across it. I was just up a couple hundred yards from here a little bit ago. You were? Yeah, that's where it drains out of it. It's pretty cold, May. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing how Mink will go right through that pond.
across the road here. Let's see if there's any coyotes or foxes or bobcats in there. He's going to set up his call in one spot and sit behind some trees and another. Run that call. I got my rifle all ready. I'll shoot from here if there's anything that shows up. But see what happens. Show you what he's got out there. Is it? On top of the outer stone. Have you ever sat in there? I have not, no. If you go right where this car was, there's a road in there as wide as a regular road. Really? 100 plus yards. Holy miracle. Isn't there a river right behind it? 
Huh? Isn't the river right behind that? No, there's a bog in here. Oh, a bog? Yeah, it's a bog. Oh, I always thought the river was right there. No. <laughs> Careful. Oh, put this old girl away. I'll give that a try anyway, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Cold up. What temperature now? 25? Yeah. That's what I'm Feels colder than 25. <laughs> <laughs> Getting old, I guess. <laughs> Just like coming up here to camp for the deer season. When we were younger, it was no big deal, but sitting when it gets cold out, it sucks. <laughs> Just he's sitting all night long. Seeps in long. You can't warm up. Well, keep plugging along. This is the road, nice and icy. If you don't know how to drive an ice, you don't want to be coming out here. <laughs> For KI, there's a gate. There's a machine over there. I mean, next time we get one load of snow. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Parking them right over here in this spot. Hopefully. <laughs> Won't be much longer. We've got a nice little camp by sitting there. <laughs> Onward. Home we go, I guess. Yes, sir. Thank you.